Right guys, a little preview of tomorrow's match against Burnley and Manchester United and how I feel it will, will go. Firstly, we've got, got a new signing to play. Hope, hopefully, Di Maria can feature tomorrow. Great new signing. Should it help improve the side? I'm hoping to see him in the team tomorrow. I'm hoping to see a lot more experienced players back than what played against MK Dons in the week. We we re for Louis Van Gaal really messed up with the team selection in that game. I'm hoping to see see Van Persie, Rooney, Mata, Young, Valencia, all these experienced players back for this game. I feel that he really messed up with not even having the likes of maybe Van Persie on the bench. I mean, he hasn't played a lot of football lately. He could have helped get his fitness up up a bit if he'd played him. I mean, because Hernandez and, and Welbeck look set to leave and Kagawa. So he could have played played the other night. I mean, them other players, it doesn't matter if they don't play now. They're leaving anyway. So, yeah, so uh, my thoughts on, on the uh, team selection. Well, pers personally, it's I'm, I'm not so sure what, what team he's going to pick. It's it's a real difficult one to, to go for for this game because because he said in his press con Louis Van Gaal said in his press conference that we've got I think ten players injured, which is freaking ridiculous. They have ten players injured. I see even Roy Hodgson's concerned about Luke Shaw's fitness, and that which is a which is a real shame because we spent a lot of money on him. I believe Herrera's still injured. Smalling's injured. There's so many of them throughout the team that are injured. Uh, Ro Ro Rojo can't play because of his work permit. There's so many, so many players that can't play. So if we lose this game, it's not really Louis Van Gaal's fault at all, really, because he's probably going to have to play some shit players tomorrow. And I'm hope I'm still hoping for some new signings. I really am. If we don't get at least a another major signing like a Vidal or someone, I feel that this this squad's just not probably not going to be up to to top four because. That midfield without without even Carrick in there, I mean Carrick's a lot better than Cleverly and Fletcher. I'm afraid, even if he's not great, even even if we still had Ryan Giggs, I think Ryan Giggs would have to come out of retirement if we don't sign sign someone like Vidal or even Nigel De Jong, because Giggs is better than bloody Cleverly and Fletcher and all them. Even at like forty odd, he's still better than them in the midfield. So, and and that is really saying something. That they've really underachieved. I know Fletcher's it's not his fault, but he's been ill. But cleverly, just just is terrible. I would I would still sooner have someone like Giggs in there than than cleverly. And some games last year, even Giggs was quality again in in the middle of the uh, midfield. But unfortunately, he can't carry on forever, so he had to retire. But so what what do I feel the team news is going to be? Well, I'm I'm not sure. I'm. Obviously, just going to put my take on it because um, there, there's a lot of possibilities. There's players that could come back from injury and might not come back. I, I really don't know what team's going to he's going to put out. But I'll say David De Gea in goal. Then I'm going to say a, a back three or of oh, Blackett, Phil Jones, and, oh, and Keane. I'm not going to play. Yeah, and Keane. I'll go. I'll go for Keane because Evans was really bad in the week. Then the wing backs probably Ashley Young and Antonio Valencia. Then I'm going to put Di Maria in midfield alongside Darren Fletcher. The reason why I would put put him in midfield is because that midfield is fucking awful. It's absolutely terrible. I mean, there's no way you can keep playing Fletcher and Cleverly in that midfield. We would get beat by by bloody. We could get beat by the local Sunday pub team if we play, keep playing them in there. But it looks like looks like uh, Cleverly's going anyway. I'm I'm a bit surprised that he's he's vice captain Fletcher because if we do sign some more players, then I'm not so sure he's going to get a, lo a lot of a lot of game time Fletcher this year. So we haven't got we've only got an, about another thirty something games left because. We're probably unless we get far in the FA Cup, which that's not even many games any anyway. So then obviously I'll play the trio up up front of Mata and then uh, Wayne Rooney and Van Persie. Though Van Persie didn't look fit the other the other day against Sunderland, he was looked off the pace. Although 
the other players around him didn't help at all. No one, no one got in the ball through from midfield. We were so slow. But th this is the team that I feel that will, that I would probably play. I don't feel it will be Van Hal's fault if we lose this game because he's he's stuck with with a bit of a, a royal deal here with injuries and we're still a lack of of quality in there. Although Di Maria's come in, I just I just feel there's still three or four players needed to at least. Well, at least a couple to challenge, two or three to challenge for that top four place. Even, I mean, if we get them all back fit, maybe we can challenge for that. For the for the score prediction, I'm going to go with a two-one win to Manchester United. Last weekend, I went for a one-one draw or just to sneak it one-nil, and it was one-one. <clears throat> In the week, I thought we would beat MK Dons, but then when the t I saw the team selection, I realised that we probably struggled to beat them. But this game, I don't actually know what the actual team news is going to be. If Cleverly and, and Flesher do start, then I'm probably in the middle. Then I'm probably not going to be confident we're going to get a win. But at the moment, we've really, we've got to be looking to beat these. This this game is almost turning into a must-win game. Because it's Burn, we've got Burnley, Leicester and... We've got all the three promoted sides for this way in the next three games. So, um, I mean, we should beat QPR. I mean... And, and Leicester aren't really that great, so, but, and starting with Burnley, it's, I mean, I know two of them are away, I think, but even so, we still should be looking to beat these teams, anyway, hopefully we can win this game, come on United, let's do this, let's get back to winning ways, hopefully we'll see some more transfers coming by the, by the end of the weekend, we can push on, and at least secure four spot for next season, come on.